morning, world. Being when to come back to another video. Uh, I wanted to address um, a question that one of my subscribers uh, from my previous video, uh, my thank you video, had uh, wanted me to elaborate on a question that I asked. And uh, I asked the question, why is the sky blue? Okay. And I don't think that's a question that we really actually, you know, ponder on. You know, I think we just kind of take for granted that we just believe the answers that was given to us as a kid. I don't even remember the answers personally. You know, I just do know that, you know, you say something about the atmosphere and all that kind of crap, but atmosphere is a location, you know, that doesn't, that's not a color. You did? So uh, to address it from a person who I like, what I am, I'm a common census. Okay? I'm not a scientist, I'm not an anthropologist or archaeologist. I'm a common census. So things are clear to me. You know, they, I can't be deceived because, you know, what the most high blessed inside of me, I already know whether it's real or not. Okay? And so, you know, with this knowledge, you have to always re you know, revert back to, you know, past generations, the ancients. You know, what did they think? What did they say? You know, we just can't go by what, you know, scientists have, have told us because if you go by that, then your common senses characteristics not going to be able to shine through. I mean, you have to believe that the sun is 93 million miles from the earth and that the moon is 250, 257,000 miles from the earth. When just the other day, in the daytime, you see the... Uh, Moon and the sun in the sky at the same time. Okay? Hey, somebody turn the uh, alarm off. I'm dropping the video. Hey, can somebody get the alarm? Thanks. I digress. Thanks, little bean. Appreciate it, brother. As I was saying, you see the sun and the moon in the sky at the same time in the daytime. How is that possible if the sun is 93 million miles from us and the moon is 247, 250,000 miles from us? So your common sense should kick in. Okay? So back to the question. Why is the sky blue? Well, also, you always have to have a reference. And if anybody is a Christian or, you know, uh, someone that has a religious background, like I say, me, I'm more of a spiritual person. I don't really get into that because in my standpoint, uh, you know, sometimes religion causes division. And so I tend to be more spiritual because that's what's in my chakras. But I also use references. And so when I read the Bible, and I read the Bible, um, it tells you right there why the sky is blue in Genesis chapter 1, verse 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? Uh, it's not an accident that when you look up at the sky, it's straight blue. Okay? And if you've ever flown an airplane over the waters and you look down, it looks just like the sky, blue. And so you ask yourself, man, how is that possible? Well, then, if you read the Bible in Genesis, it tells you that the Most High created a firmament. Okay? And if you look up the definition of firmament, you know, it says a dome structure. Okay? So the Most High created this firmament to separate the waters from the waters. All right? And in separating the waters from the waters, you know, what was above the firmament? Heaven. So we always look up to heaven. We never look down. So if you can believe that there's a heavens above, then you got to also believe that, you know, in Genesis, there's a firmament as well. Okay? So, hmm, that's interesting. So now we know that there's waters above the firmament and waters below the firmament. And from these waters, the Most High created land and created the earth. <laughs> the baby one. You all right, little fella? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So when you look up at the sky, you see the waters above the firmament. 
just like below the firmament. All right? So why is the sky blue? Because of the waters that the Most High put up there, separating us from what? The firmament. That's why we've never been to space. All right? So I hope that answers your question. Uh, like I said, God, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, in the meantime, in between time, may the Most High Society bring you joy. And I'm outie, 5,000.